Mike, how was that? Well, one more time? How was that? Oh, man, it's just crazy, man. Uh, it's just a surreal moment, man. I'm proud of us, proud of our team, man, for not competing, man, and uh, just getting to this moment. How good is it to be back and be here? This is my first time, man, so uh, this is it's exciting. Uh, we got a lot of young guys our first time as well, so uh, we're excited to be here. How, how fulfilling is it for you to get this one? Oh, man, yeah. Uh, you work, work your dreams just to come out here and play in this game, and this game's huge. Um, again, I, I've been watching this game uh, growing up uh, ever since about 2008. I watched every one of them, so uh, to play with one of them, best, uh, especially special, man. Thank you. Can you talk about the changes that happened between last year as a rookie, this year as a second player, more healthy, obviously career highs. What do you attribute, how much do you attribute that to off-season training? Yeah, I mean, uh, I should attribute a lot of that uh, to that. And, uh, just coming back. Uh, trying to figure out what I wasn't as good at, uh, what I could be better at, and uh, kind of switching roles and position positions. So a lot, of, a lot was different this year. Uh, I thought I did a pretty good job, man. I'm just going to teach you how to be better. On a personal note, how much does this game mean to you with the large team, mother and sister, and what they've gone through? Yeah, man, man, it's huge. Uh, again, my mom, my mom uh, seen my last weekend I played in. Uh, she didn't uh, make it to Houston uh, for health reasons. So uh, having her in the stand is uh, watching the same game, man, it's huge. Dallas, Texas, man. I'm Dallas, I'm Dallas, man. I'm going Dallas, Texas. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, you add him to the run game, uh, it's mixing up other man football. Uh, so everybody, everybody can personally get blocked. Now you just got to beat a block or make a tackle. He has a different dynamic to that game. Uh, I guess he's a special player, a special football player. Um, he got 15 rushing TDs. Uh, he's gonna come as a quarterback, so uh, you can see what he, how, how he can hurt you with his legs. Uh, yeah, um, in terms of uh, running quarterbacks, I feel like that's a, uh, one of my best things I do. I stop the run, so uh, having that, uh, playing this type of offense, like running the ball, this type of run early, uh, I feel like that plays uh, well to what I do. Uh, yeah, thank you. First of all, MIC, I went there. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, first, I want to know, I, obviously, as a middle linebacker, I'm sure you kind of played that position growing up. Who are your top five favorite linebackers? Patrick Willis, all those boys. Yeah, I can't, I can't really put a number on them, but uh, ones I love watching as well. Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis, uh, Bowman when they played together. And my dad's a big 49ers fan, so, uh, you know, we, we watched them a lot. And, uh, Singletary, man, uh, one of the guys, kind of shorter guys that I watch a lot of, and um, I, I kind of watch a lot of Fred Warner State, man. A great football player, instinctual, man, and uh, he does it all. And you can bring back one team all time to help you guys win the Super Bowl this year. What would it be? Oh, uh, man, uh, I grew up playing safety, uh, so uh, EB, man, one of those guys I watch a lot, and uh, in a personal spot, I was kind of, kind of similar to my story, so I got a lot of respect for him. Okay, okay, yeah, I like yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man, uh, it's actually it's kind of crazy, man. I, was just, I got a friend that lives out here in Arizona, and we're just talking about it. Uh, how, how I was just back in Texas five years ago, and uh, it's been from Ezra, Texas, and moving to Frisco. There's not a lot of guys who have the opportunity to be in, be in this game, and uh, man, it's special, man. And uh, being from Mizzou as well, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of good guys out there that come out every single year, and um, just being one of those guys being playing this game, man, it's huge. I know it's huge for Columbia, uh, University of Missouri, uh, and also uh, the state of Missouri. Uh, it really didn't hit me until I probably walked across the stage, man. I, I saw the trophy for the first time in person. Uh, it's kind of one of those things you kind of watch on TV and never really see it in person. But uh, you see it in person, it makes it all real. Yeah, man, they've been ecstatic uh, since it's just one versus Cincinnati, man. Um, again, I'm excited to be out here, man. My family uh, being out here is going to be huge. Uh, just saying this moment with them, man, it's going to be special. Here's a player. What are some of your biggest girls over the first year versus this year? Yeah, um, it kind of starts with just learning the scheme. Uh, learning more than my, my position is kind of the biggest thing I did in the offseason. Uh, just kind of a better communicator. I know uh, our, our defense lost a lot of, a lot of uh, communication, a lot of leadership uh, with, with pitching. Uh, time after leaving last year, so uh, me and Lynn able to evolve in that role and um, kind of kind of evolve out and uh, continue to lead, man. And, uh, 
that's one of the biggest things that's kind of changed a lot from my rookie year to my, my second year. Uh, I'm not a big talker, so uh, not, not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not a big talker, so a lot, a lot of guys don't typically talk back uh, to me, so I'm not a big talker, man. Um, my high school the most talented guy. Uh, got some good ones, man. Uh, not a chance to play against Colin Murray. Uh, he's a, he's probably the best uh, football player ever come out of Texas. Uh, not probably is. Uh, most decorated player out of Texas high school football for sure. Yep, thank you. Nick, obviously taking on a very big leadership role with you. Where does that leadership come from for you? Yeah, I just kind of think it starts from my, my dad, uh, first and foremost, man, just setting an example uh, for me, uh, my siblings as well, and uh, my mom, uh, she did a, a great job of raising me as well, and uh, just, just watching those, those those who work go to work every single day, you know, scrap for everything they get, uh, it's kind of, kind of made, made me appreciate a lot of stuff that I, I have in life, and uh, yeah, I think that starts with them. With everything, you know, what does it mean to get here, what does it mean for them, you think, you know, in your words, for you to get here? Yeah, uh, I know my dad always wanted to play in the Super Bowl, so I know he's excited about that one. Uh, he had to watch me play uh, firsthand, so I know my family is very special. Uh, who controls the playlist in the operator? Oh, man, we got a lot of different guys, man. We listen a little bit of everything, but uh, I say uh, between Willie and Frank, uh, those two guys, man, they, they got to know. Do you have a favorite? Uh, favorite? Uh, my favorite probably is Little Baby right now. Okay. That's what I listen to the most. Awesome. Yeah. You look like... <laughs> Uh, I kind of saw it. I didn't really, really get too much into it. Um, again, I kind of came out during the time of uh, preparing for this game, and so that's kind of my main focus. I've really been into it. Do I believe in aliens? No, man, I do not believe in aliens. Yeah. I seen, I seen uh, Frank uh, do a, get off the ground without using his hands last week, man. Uh, I, was, I was pretty special right there. I've only seen DBs and wide receivers do that, so I think I'm going to do that, man. That was pretty cool. Yep. I'm kind of to myself on game day, kind of my, my headphones on, kind of kind of focusing on what I got to do. So I really haven't, haven't been looking around the outside. Thanks, Nick. Yep, you're welcome.